said a woman, take it slow, it'll work itself out fine. All we need is just a little patience. Said a sugar, make it slow. Hey friends, how's it going? David Potts here with Song Notes, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the Guns N' Roses song, Patience. So this is one that is one of my all-time favorites. I got my handmade chord sheet just for you. Get it over at my website, playsongnotes.com. It shows you the lyrics and the chords and the strumming patterns and licks and fills and all that sort of thing that you'll need to play this song. So um, thanks to all of you who have requested this one over the last many years. It's been quite a while, but I'm finally excited to, uh, to get it to y'all. And uh, check out Play Song Notes if you want to see more of my stuff, plenty more video lessons, and plenty more of my very high quality, handmade, one-of-a-kind chord sheets to help you along your way. But uh, with that said, let's get into this lesson. Here's what I'm going to cover. Jump ahead if you know what you're looking for, and uh, let's do it. All right, so to learn this song, let's first start. Quick note about the tuning is you want to tune down one half step only if you want to play along with Guns N' Roses. Just wanted to call that out. I'm going to be in standard tuning though for this lesson. That keeps it easier for you all, hopefully, if you're already in standard tuning. So with that note said, uh, a quick look at the chords we're going to need, okay? So basically, the, the bulk of this is going to be the first five here. It's going to be a C chord, okay, a G chord, a D chord, and an A chord. Okay, and then there's an E minor, two finger chord, which is nice. And again, we're gonna have the F. If you can do the full six string F, that's a that's a nice thing to be able to do, but I also have a few options there on the right, you know, this four finger version, uh, just the middle four strings, or you can do the four thinnest strings, or the four thickest strings, but really don't let that one hang you up. And then there's a D over F sharp. This comes up in the outro as well. It sounds like they're playing a, you know, a full six string D when they're going between the D and the G over and over again. I'm including it here if you want to sort of uh, keep that one in mind. You can either play it with your thumb, um, just sort of adding on the lower, uh, the lower E string, second fret, or you could just sort of forget the thinnest string and just play this for the D over F sharp and then go into the G, okay? This is a very much easier voicing and um, it's, it's uh, one way to get that sort of low bass note if you want the D over F sharp, okay? So these are the chords. And um, while I'm at this, let me talk about this D sus2 and D sus4 little riff we have going on here. This is a very, very common uh, common thing in lots of songs, and it's very distinctive in this song in particular, where basically we're gonna have our regular D chord, and sometimes we're gonna take our uh, finger off the thinnest string, and that makes it a D sus2. And we'll go back with our to a regular D, and then we can put our pinky down on the third fret of the highest string. And that makes it a D sus4. So what that lets us do is this sort of, you know. And in the song, that's gonna sound a bit like. Okay, so um, that's how to play the shapes you'll need for that thing. I'll talk about that little sequence a bit later in the lesson, but I wanted to, to call that out as far as the chords you'll need for this song. Now, uh, next up, Let's look at, at strumming patterns and the chord progressions, okay? And I'm gonna sort of look at these hand in hand because I have one strumming pattern that I recommend using for the intro and for the verse, specifically for the first part of the intro, which is a much more subtle, uh, subdued acoustic guitar. You kind of hear it, but it's, it's not like a, a super distinct strum. And the same with the verses. The verses of this song are very sort of, sort of um, um, subdued and they're not too blatant and not too loud, right? But the chorus and the outro, that's where we want to sort of um, Pump, punch things up a bit. So I have two different strums and let's talk about those, but let's do it in conjunction with these chord progressions, right? When I think of this song in my head, I think of two real progressions. There's this sort of first one, which goes from a C to a G, okay? And then from a A to a D. Now, um, you sort of just remember the, those two progressions, right? C to G and then A and to D. And we're gonna, you're gonna sort of go through that whole progression twice in the beginning with the whistling and during each verse, that's a progression you're gonna need. And for that strumming pattern, I like to use this one, which is a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, 
up, down, up, okay? Get comfortable strumming it without any chords. And then next what we can do is apply that strumming pattern to the intro chords, right? The C to G and the A to D. And again, these are also used in the verse, so this is gonna come back and be helpful. Um, first, I'll just do the strumming pattern just very straightforward, no accents and no other trickery going on. I'm gonna add some nuance in a little bit to it, right? But let's go through that intro progression. It's just these eight bars, uh, two bars on C, two bars on G, two bars on A, two bars on D, right? So one, two, three, four, C. C again, right? Then the whistling starts. Then to A. Up, down, up, down, down, up. And then to D. Up, down, up, down, down, up. And repeat the whole thing, right? Down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up. And then to the A for two measures. Okay, now, um, one thing I'll say about this is when I'm playing the verse and I'm playing the intro, I'm doing this strumming pattern, but I'm actually not gonna strum all the strings. And I'll, instead, I'll just sort of pluck the bass note on the one count, and on all the other strums, I'm only gonna grab, not grab, but I'm only gonna like brush my pick by a few of the strings, and it sounds like this, right? If I was to sing, you know, shed a tear cause I'm missing you, still alright to smile, girl I think about you every day now. Okay, so that little D sus2 and D sus4 riffing that I showed you earlier is going to happen on those two measures of D at the very end. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna use for the, um, the, the intro and for the verse. I'm not gonna show you a tab for that thing, and that at least is part of this lesson, right? Partly, partly because it's not a very exact science. I'm just sort of, sort of um, casually going into it and only getting you know a couple strings at a time. If you're interested in learning this in a more dedicated lesson, let me know and maybe I'll, I'll get around to doing that. But next, let's look at the chorus and then the outro strum. So in this one, we really wanna punch things up a little bit, right? And use this strumming pattern, right? Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 one, two, three, and four, and 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 and if we were to use the chorus chords here, which are gonna be one measure of C, right? To one measure of G, one measure of C, and then one measure of E minor, right? One measure of C, one measure of G, and then two measures of D. And sure enough, on those two measures of D, we're gonna repeat that D sus2 and D sus4 uh, riffing there. So let's go through and play the chorus slowly. And, um, and I will say that this chorus chord progression is also used in a second part of the intro, okay? So you're gonna have this progression throughout the song, right? So, um, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. If you can, accent the two and the four count, right? That's gonna sort of give it a little bit of a backbeat and a little uh, drive forward, right? So that would sound like this, so. Uh, Said a woman, take it slow, it'll work yourself out fine. All we need is just a little patience. Right? Again, C to G to C to E minor. C to G and then two measures of D. Okay? So that's what you're going to need for that, um, for those sections of the song. And, uh, Hey everyone, so I forgot to mention the ending in my sort of playthrough lesson here. Good part about this is all you're gonna need for that is D and G. Two measures each, repeating over and over again. It's pretty straightforward, right? If you want, you can use a D over F sharp chord. It gives it a nice bass heavy, sort of six string sort of sound, okay? And the only one gotcha is you wanna have this one F. If you wanna be really authentic, play an F right there on that final, I need you. And that's gonna let you really emulate what Axel's doing with his voice and the guitarists are doing. 
and you get a nice good climax leading up to the all the time and you have the walk down with the little riff I teach you here which I also have tapped out over here. All right so that's the outro. Apologies for not including that in my version before. There we pretty much have it right now let's look at some of the other little riffs and fills we can do here. One is in the sort of very beginning of the intro. I have this one mapped out where it's, right, you're on a regular C chord and on the second string, we're gonna put down our pinky on the third fret of the second string, right? And then go down to the first fret and then open and then back to the first fret. So the very first measure of the song, this is the sort of the riff you hear, right? It's a nice little thing to just to do off the bat if you want to capture people's ear and maybe, you know, uh, get their attention before you bring in the whistling, which happens on the G, right? I'll do the C thing here again. Right? I like to sort of combine it with the strumming so that the strumming is sort of driving things and maybe I'm just adding the pinky down um, to really add a bit of just a, of, of nuance there. And you can continue that on the other chords if you want, right? The G. Putting your middle finger down the second fret of the third string is another little thing you can do. On the A, you can go to the A sus2, right? And the D. You have the D sus2 and the D sus4. So that intro and the verse especially, you can add a bit of nuance if you're familiar just with adding, you know, flourish to those chords in a, in a free sense. But I wanted to show you the C riff because it's a good one, right? Um, also at the end of the song, we're gonna have this sort of a walk down, right? We're going between a D and a G, and a D and a G, and it ends with like, all the time, yeah. Okay, so to explain this, how I would recommend approaching it is think of your, your left hand, you're gonna to wanna to have it in a D major shape, right? Now the first note is gonna be the third fret of the high E string, which is not part of the D major shape. It's really like a D sus4 or part of the G shape. Okay, but you do that third fret and then you go to a regular D shape, play the second fret of the high E string. Second string and then third string. Open third string. Right, and then fourth fret with your pinky here, and then open fourth, uh, fourth string. So, then you just strum a D chord. So this is how the song is going to totally end. If you want to match what the guitarist is playing in Guns N' Roses, right? So um, that's the the other thing I have tabbed out in my PDF for you there. So with that said, let me just do a playthrough of the entire song here, and uh, hopefully this will help you take everything I just showed you, and uh, again, get the chord sheet, and use that as you're playing as well. It's a great aid, and uh, we'll see how it all fits together here. So let's do it. So I 
sit here on the stairs Cause I'd rather be alone I can't have you right now Then I wait Sometimes I get so tense But I can't speed up the time And you know love is one more thing Said a woman, take it slow and things will be just fine. You and I just use a little patience. Said a sugar, make the time, cause the lights are burning bright. You and I got what it takes to make it, and we won't fake it. Cause I can't take it I've been walking the streets at night Just trying to get it right It's hard to see with so many around You know I don't like being stuck in the crowd And the streets don't change, but baby the name And I ain't got time for the games Cause I need you Whoa, 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 well I need you All right, well, thank you all very much for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. This has been one of my uh, very favorite songs back when I first learned guitar. This is one I used to love playing at, at open mic nights and um, when I did happy hours and a few different things where I used to play live. Uh, really fun song. I like the whistling. It's a cool... Uh, cool sound overall for sure. So again, get the chord sheet at my website, playsongnotes.com. Thanks to all of you who are supporting me um, through Patreon, through the tip jar. Uh, it's super, super appreciated. And um, I hope you look forward to many more great lessons to come. But with that said, I'm going to take off. Everyone take care. Bye-bye.